Hey guys, today I will be removing the plastic cover for the hatch door uh, just so you can access uh, any parts that you need to or uh, add any accessories. We're going to go ahead and remove the three plastic covers. You can pry it by hand and it will pop out. You may not have to remove the third hole, but it might help you get a grip. Let's go ahead and remove the, these 10 millimeter bolts inside the plastic cover. Now you're going to remove these plastic moldings on top. You'll be able to remove the rest of the pieces. So just pry up pull straight out and I will come out. I also do that on both sides. You're not going to, planning to reuse this plastic net. Uh, there's an easy way to take it out. Just use a screwdriver to pry each tab up. Just pry it out. Okay, and you'll see the little tab come out. This will allow you to attach any rack covers or accessories. In order to pull off the panel, grab it from the back here. You're going to reach your fingers in and then pry it outwards. Okay, and slowly pull along the bottom. And they're just held in by these tabs. Lastly, you'll have to open the rear window hatch in order to release the plastic cover. That's how you remove the plastic cover from the rear hatch. So the next part of the project is I will be attaching two computer server racks. We're going to combine two of them to make one, one rack. And I'm going to make one for the bottom and one for the top. I had to modify it a little bit. Uh, take a look here. Getting close in, you can see that I actually grinded or cut an inch and a quarter out of one side. I grinded one of the edges flat in the corner so I could put it together. You'll see that the holes line up. And you'll want to slot the holes to a little bit larger size and that way you can run a little bit slightly larger bolts. Larger size like a M6 or M5. So take time to calculate the holes that you're going to drill. Run roughly half inch to three quarter inch spacers. And you can see a finished rack mount here. It's mounted from the top to the bottom. Both panels mounted. Uh, it's time to install the plastic cover back into the hatch. Pop the hatch to put back on the plastic cover. Fit the plastic cover back on and it'll look a little something like this. Finished. Hey, thanks for following along, guys. Uh, hopefully, this helps you out with your install. Uh, please give me a like and subscribe if you like any of the information or if there's something that you specifically want to see. Alright, thanks for watching.